I graduated in 1950. I graduated in 1949. Two flights out. Yeah. The third floor on uh, Main Street up over F.W. Woolworth. Miss Cunningham that uh, taught us all the accounting and stuff like that and then we had the workbooks and everything we had to do and, yeah. and of course they, we didn't have any gymnasium or any place to have these socials other than like the, the Grange Hall over in Winslow, so that's why it worked that way. Your education has been a big help to you. Oh yes, but another thing too, I didn't know I was going to get a wife out of it. <laughs> they didn't guarantee anything. <laughs> I can't believe how much it has grown from the third floor of a Woolworth to the campus that you have here now. It's outstanding. It really is. Yeah, so. We have very humble roots. We were there to train local people in different areas of business, whether that was secretarial or accounting or business management, things that were needed at the time, skills that were needed by the workforce. And it was just a fairly simple, straightforward, practical offering. We moved from Main Street to Silver Street and took a, a large house and that became our base of operations and a dorm was built. It was on Silver Street and it was very tiny and you had to, you had to, you had to participate, you were forced to participate, whether it was uh, any kind of play or any kind of uh, either musical event or sports or I wrote, I wrote for the school paper. I mean, stuff that I would never have done because it was so small you had to play. There was nobody else, you were, you were it, you know. There was a, they had a little small library. They had a, a men's dorm called Jewel Hall. They had a, a girls' dorm. Then they had an academic center. The college grew to its point in 1969 or 70 when this land was purchased and the, the start of this campus began on the banks of the Kennebec. Well, it didn't even seem like a campus because at the time, very few buildings were on the campus. So we didn't have a lot of buildings. We didn't, other than a gym, we didn't have a, a workout facility. You didn't have any of that stuff. So you had to make up your, your, own, your own fun. A lot of the students, they were very family oriented. So Thomas was a good choice for them because we were small and intimate. I mean, there was a time when this school was on the, there was questions whether it was gonna make it or not. There had been a great transition from trying to be a business school to be more diverse into more of the liberal arts and it hadn't gone as well as one would hope. A credit to the board and, and the executive management, the students were completely sheltered from that scenario, didn't really understand um, the dire straits of the college. And We had a good staff and people that really cared, including trustees that on a couple occasions ponied up payroll out of their own pockets so that um, checks would go out and Friday when they needed to. If you wanted to buy post-it notes, you pretty much had to get permission from someone higher up. So that discipline helped, and we had some good recruiting years, and gradually you turned it around, you know. We started some new programs to become broader based. Programs in education, programs in criminal justice, programs in sports management, which really didn't exist back then. We terminated some programs that had outlived their usefulness and moved on. So it was a refiguring of the school. Um, their key decision was really bringing in President Spann, George Spann, who, and he was the absolute right man at the right time for the college. Through the last 10 years of growth and transformation, um, you know, through Conrad's leadership of 25 years ago, look where we are today. So uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot to the people who've been around, who've weathered the storm, and it means a lot to the future leaders of Thomas as to where we're going and the level of pride they'll need to carry forward into the next generation. So. Athletic center, dormitories, expansion of the student center, um, heavy duty renovation in the AOT building and 
the auditorium over there, and now we have new fields. And the growth that has happened over my tenure here is just, it's unimaginable. We have just grown at a pace that we can sustain. We've tried to be very true to our roots and make very business-based decisions, but grow in a way that we can continue to support um, people's dreams, particularly those of first generation and those local people who would like to get an education and, and contribute to their communities. There is no way I would be prepared for my career today, for life today, um, if it wasn't for Thomas. Thomas prepared me for researching and understanding that you've got to give 110% to get back what you want. Taught me how important being involved in your community can be. The professors here, they go to great lengths to help you understand everything. They want you to learn and they want you to gain the knowledge and experience so that you thrive in the rest of your life. You Thomas know? is celebrating 125 years of adjusting and adapting and meeting the needs of students and me meeting the needs of the changing world. Um, and I think a lot of what we're doing right now represents that. I think our work at the Center for Innovation and Education, I think the Harold Alfond Institute embodies our approach to focusing on the changing needs of the world and the changing needs of our student population. I think that's the part that really sets us apart when we, we strive we strive to make success stories. If you took a magic wand and you extracted all of the Thomas grads from the main business community, there would be a gaping hole left behind. And they came from this little school in, in central Maine that not too many people knew about, but our alums are, are certainly giving people uh, an idea of what, what Thomas is all about now. And so my goal now is to give back and try to help them continue to grow and prosper. I think it's absolutely a time to celebrate and I think it's a time to really um, brag about what we do. A successful school that helps kids achieve their dreams. tell the stories of alumni, it inspires generations of the future because things are possible. Uh, you invest in yourself, in your education, all things are possible.